Today we know Scott and our weather team will be keeping a close eye on the weather, but they are certainly not alone. Meteorologist Scott Covert met up with a weather group from out of state, though here for a very important reason. Tell us about it, Scott. Yeah, these storm researchers are looking to better understand squall lines like the one we could see later today and how they produce tornadoes, which is the most common weather phenomenon here in Arkansas. And they're bringing with them a really cool tool. You may have seen them out and about yesterday. I had the chance to visit with them and learn more about their Doppler on wheels and its mission. The more isolated supercell tornadoes, we've been doing a decent job of forecasting those recently, but the smaller ones that occur along the squall lines are very hard to forecast and, and give accurate warnings for. And that's where this multi-million dollar piece of equipment comes into play. We're actually looking at tornado development along lines of thunderstorms like a squall line system or something like that. Squall lines, the weather phenomena responsible for the majority of tornadoes seen in Arkansas. Some of them can be AF2 in strength and produce a lot of damage. Um, and they tend to be short lived and, and relatively small, so they're really hard to predict. But with state of the art research vehicles like this one, researchers can take the radar right to the storms. Hopefully with these radars, we're gonna learn the mechanisms that form those, look for precursor type circulations. So what's the main goal behind these high tech reconnaissance missions? We're also able to take the data and share it in real time and allow the, the weather service office to say, hey, their radar is really close to this event. They can see much better than we can with our system. And so now they can get you know, enhanced information to make a little bit more accurate forecasts and warnings. Bottom line, they're hoping to learn more about how tornadoes form, all in hopes of providing us more lead time to get to safety before one touches down. And they don't just study tornadoes. This same research team will actually travel to the Gulf Coast ahead of hurricane landfalls. They'll yeah. position their mobile radar uh, right in the path of the eye where the strongest of winds are going to be so they can collect data from that. And of course, it's used to study and uh, provide advanced lead time in those situations as well. That had to be a pretty cool experience, Scott. I'm sure having that conversation, just I know you're fascinated by this. No one wants severe weather, but right. to have the science and have that technology to be able to understand it more to prevent uh, damage because of these storms, that, that's got to be a big deal. It, it's a really big deal. And, and the, the idea here is, isn't a storm chase, it isn't to collect cool photos, it's to take that data so that we can better understand how do these tornadoes form in these squall lines? It's hard to it's hard to warn on them. They're fast and they're mm. often uh, can happen between radar scans. So you take a mobile radar directly to the storm, you can get <laughs> some better observations. And in the end, it keeps us all safe.